I'm Dr. Lucille Ford. My great-grandfather was one of the founding members of Ashland College. That's a long time ago. My personal relationship is I am currently now the uh, Professor Emeritus of Economics, the uh, Emeritus of the Provost, uh, and Emeritus on the Board of Trustees, and currently working with the Investment Committee, uh, and then I serve on the Business Advisory Group all the time. So um, I have a long and continuing relationship. Some of the major steps go way back to my parents because they were um, individuals that uh, believed in uh, education for one thing, but they were um, hardworking people, uh, dedicated. They, they wanted children, and I was one of them, to uh, learn self-reliance and self-discipline, kind of those North Stars where um, honesty is important and uh, the fundamental value. So I would say, and they um, supported uh, anything that I might dream up. In addition to the support around me was the um, inherent value, I guess I will say, of uh, opportunity. I, I wanted to say yes to things. I wanted to take advantage of opportunity. You can say, well, why did you? Frankly, because it was fun. Uh, we're taught to say no to many things, and that's good. But we also should be taught to say yes to those opportunities that come flying by with a phone call ringing or whatever it might be. As you take on the challenges that are around you, you knowingly or unknowingly build a reputation or a history that can be valuable to others. So I, I, I think that's one of the important things. I found that as you do things for others, not expecting, you can't expect something back, but if you expect nothing back and you're just doing it as a service thing, you'll find that all kinds of things come back to you. And one of the most fundamental things I think you want to remember is don't, um, don't expect the world to serve you as much as you serving your community. that's important about values for me or for you is that you build those without the particular need for them. You build them from your parents, from your environment, from your own reading, deciding, and so on. Uh, but, but you do that in such a way that, uh, that you, you become stronger all the time and you uh, uh, manage the difficulties. and. And I suggest that the thing you want to do is build your own DNA. Decide what's important to you when you don't need it. And then when the times get tough, and they can, and they will, then you are ready to respond to those because you've got the DNA. You've decided what you want to be. Decide. Don't let the forces tell you what to do. You decide yourself how to respond to them. Don't think that going to school uh, in an academic environment is some kind of protection that you can do anything and all, anything you want. You want to live your life and your values right now and build them then so that they're there for you as you need them. And, uh, and I attempted throughout my lifetime to do that as an example. The best way to learn is to see a role model or an individual carrying those values just as a uh, fact of life. And if that's the case, you learn a lot. The most important thing of all to, to suggest, well, I, th I think it, going along, one of the fundamentals I had um, for what uh, you may want to consider is that when something went wrong, and it goes wrong for all of us at one time or another, we'll have a path the thing you want to do, of course, is know your mission. What is it you're trying to do? And keep that mission so that when you make decisions, 
you stay on course and you're able to move forward. But the, the most important thing that I found for myself at least, when those things went wrong, I did try very hard not to blame somebody. The blame game will get you no place. If you can attempt, at least I tried to say, what can I do to make it better the next time? Instead of saying, you're wrong, I don't like what you did, how can I make that situation that will come up later? And you, you take on an aspect of, uh, if you like, forgiveness, because some things will be violations that you don't like and are wrong even. But if you say, how can I do better? How can I overcome that? Then you're on the positive course. One of the things is defining that mission. Now, you know it's characteristic that each individual may change careers three or four times or jobs at least three or four times in their lifetime. So don't think that uh, what you decide today has to be it forever and ever. It may be, but it may not be. And so don't um, think in terms of that career set being, but you do want to have that mission and you do want to know how you're going to get there. Learn to say yes, as I have suggested earlier, as to the opportunities. There are opportunities that are all around you if you just look. Be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Not just your country, but the friends you have, the opportunity you have. I guess the uh, emphasis I would make to you that uh, life really is good. We are not created as perfect individuals and a little people running around doing what we're told and we make mistakes. And if you understand that you can accept yourself the way you are and use the good that's in that heart, you will have a very happy life.